Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're doing the ECMWF 42 Day Slash Six Weeks Look Ahead uh, for UK and for Ireland for today's second video. Uh, so we're going to look at mean cell pressure, 500 millibar height, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next six weeks. Uh, and we'll get for you in a second to say the first video today was our 6 a.m. upload. Look, we get four cars going for, up for you in a bit. And uh, if that was enough, I'll be changed 14 day or two. Don't include all my breaking features, so make sure you check that out. If you'd like to do that, please like and subscribe on videos. Thank you so much, everybody. For doing that, I'm a little bit giddy tonight. So let's do it. Uh, so thank you so much to E7.int for supplying us with the charts. Thank you so much, ECM. Right, so we'll go. just leave it. Oh, hang on. Old Jurassic, old Jurassic, old Jurassic. Just to say that the um, wider European outlook with this model is always released on a Tuesday. So we just focus on Ireland and the UK on Saturday, occasionally on a Friday, usually on a Saturday. Um, but the wider, you know, the wider scenario thing um, for Europe is always um, on, on a Tuesday. Uh, right, okay. We'll do it. Uh, here we go. Uh, week one mean seal pressure anomaly taking us from the 8th to 15th of August. By the way, this will get us into the second half of September. Wow, wow, wow. We'll about that later on. But week one mean seal pressure anomaly from the 8th to 15th of August looks like that. High pressure is in over Scandinavia and ridging through the UK. Winds will be coming in from a very warm or hot east or southeasterly direction. Next week does look hot. 500 millibar height anomaly. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, 500 millibar, I'm so sorry, 500 millibar high dolly with loads and loads of high pressure dominating weather. Look at that, above average temperatures again. Ah, uh, surprise, surprise. So, um, we see the temperature normally there for the UK and Ireland. Uh, very warm in the south, looking hot in those deeper red colours there. Uh, so three to six degrees above average, really hot. That's most parts of Western Europe. Uh, also, by the way, so a hot week next week. Hard, hard, hard. Uh, right. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, precipitation anomalies are drier than normal as well. So hot and dry uh, next week. The hot and dry weather goes on. Let's see what week two is going to do then, shall we? This is going to be the uh, 15th to the 22nd of August, so uh, lower pressure then to the south, high pressure sort of retreating away to Western Russia and pulling out into the Atlantic. Um, so that might be like a transitional type week, maybe starting with some higher pressure and then going towards lower pressure, lower, might be, could be. Uh, is this an update? <laughs> Just talk about yourselves, everybody. There we go. Uh, so, we do 500 millibar height anomaly. I'm a bit giddy. You notice that, everyone. I'm a little bit giddy. Uh, 500 millibar height on week two. Loads and loads of high pressure above average heights dominating. What a temperature job. That's still warm. Not quite as warm in week two as week one, but nevertheless, they're still generally on the warmer than average side. So, that's another. Pretty warm week. And the precipitation anomaly. It's a weaker signal, but still looking largely dry than normal, especially so for uh, England and uh, Wales and whatnot. Right, week three is going to be the 22nd to 29th of August. 29th of August, even, with lower pressure to our south. Maybe some lower pressure begins to appear around Greenland ice. It could be just starting to revert back to like a gently gentle sort of westerly flow 500 millibar high dolly still has an anti-cyclonic look though with above average heights in from the atlantic into western parts of europe as well temperature anomalies are still above average for the uk and for ireland also very warm august not in the way uh and weak free precipitation anomaly again weaker signal but still those splodges of, of um, sandy brown, uh, <laughs> splodges here and there, indicating it's probably quite a dryish sort of week. 
Right, shall we get to September then, everyone? You want a wet September? I know you do. Will the ECs extended give us one? Let's have a look. 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 Uh, right, so some lower pressure across the western parts of Europe. Um, could that low pressure be coming up from the south, maybe? Let's have a look at 500 millibar heights anomaly, see what that's doing. So it looks like the high pressure sort of pulling out into the middle of the Atlantic. There's no particularly evident trough of low pressure, but yeah, we might be reverting something a little bit more showery there anyway. Um, temperature anomalies are still above average. Does it ever end? Does the temperature ever cool down? Uh, and the precipitation anomaly from the 29th of August, 5th of September. Well, there's not much doing there, really, is there? So let's just put in a question mark, shall we? Um, right, week five will be the 5th to the 12th of September. How's it looking? Oh, so, like, oh, um, oh, uh, some lower <laughs> pressure. Piggy, I'm a cringe when I watch this back. I'm going to have to cringe. Some lower pressure, sort of across, across Europe, really. It's a very strange looking mean sea level pressure anomaly, that I have to say. What's my bunch of millibar heights doing? Um, that all looks a bit mysterious, doesn't it? Let's put in um, a couple of question marks. You want a cool, wet September. I know why. Or the majority of you do. Um, temperature lines are cooling down a little bit there. A little bit cooler just to our north. Still a bit above average in the south. But there's definitely cool down that's gone on there. I mean, uh, precipitation anomaly. No particular signal. But, 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 Look at these. I'm so sorry. Look at these little green sprodges up here and around there. Maybe just a little bit of a hint to some of you a bit more unsettled into early September. And then what about week six? It'll be the 12th to the 19th of September. Uh, again, very strange looking mean cell pressure at all. Let's put in three, three question marks. Let's do that. What is going on? What's going on? 500 million. <laughs> What's he doing? What's he doing? I don't know. 500 million about high only if the thing's going to update. Is this going to update? Talk about yourselves, everybody. Been very nice weather, hasn't it? Dates are unavailable. Well, that's handy, isn't it? That's handy for our final 500 millibar high tonight. So I try refreshing the page. There we go. So it wasn't really worth refreshing the page, actually. So there's no real signal there for week six of the 500 millibar heights. Putting some question marks. There's a little bit of normal blocking hinted at, though. Over high latitude. Right, will we be able to update the um, temperature forecast? Week 6, 12th, 19th September. What's that doing? A little bit above average. Uh, he said, I'm stingy with the cooler than average temperature anomalies. It's not a, big, not a particularly big deviation, though, so it's near normal, really. And the um, 500 millibar height anomalies look like that. No, when I talk about the precipitation anomalies, I've already heard something gas where the big towel. I'm wondering if the camera. Will be picked it up. I think something happened. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I thought I heard something. Um, but, but it's all falling apart, really. <laughs> it's a video, hasn't it? It's all falling apart. Um, right, so the weeks, where are I? Week six precipitation anomaly from the 12th, 19th of September. No signal limit wet out in the Atlantic, though, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Right, well, that <laughs> was an experience, wasn't it? What do you think about that, everyone? What do you think about that? I don't know. Um, but uh, it does... I can still hear something, I think. I don't know what's going on. I've not got a cat coming or something. I better go and investigate in a moment. Right, so, um, uh, what to make of that then? So, uh, August going to have a lot of dry and uh, very warm weather, if that's to be believed, especially next week, which is looking hot. Um, late August might be a little bit of a change. In September, perhaps something a bit more unsettled. It all looks very, very flimsy, though, rather speculative. So, let's just wait and see what happens. If you enjoyed the video and you're wondering what the hell's he doing, then uh, please tell you like. 
share and subscribe if you dare sus um, subscribe and share uh, and uh, we'll see you a little bit later on with the weekend forecast but for this week's EC42 date six weeks ago that's all now and thank you so much for watching